Because it is a very flexible pick as well. And it looks like that they are going to answer with that in the mid lane for Gen X. And it will likely be the Rumble. He'll be spending a lot of his time towards the bot side. And we can already see a gank is looking to happen. Here comes Trick. They're going on for Gibbon straight away. The Ignite is ticking for Gibbon. Flashes away. Trick on the chase. But he's going to get the kill underneath the tower. Dream Lee, and he ends up losing his life as a result. I mean, I'll get flashing forward straight into Gen X, who pulls him back with the Death's Grasp. But Trick is already gone. And Shalka have actually found a couple of kills here very quickly. Abadaga gets one on the board. Gen X trying to trade in. Here comes Crown Shot looking for the damage on Dreams. Dreams rooted up with the last embrace. Gen X almost falling as well. Lolox going back in, but won't. Find in the mid game. Uh, ooh, so oh, see a hook flash. Hook. Abadage still has his flash put into the realm of death and now flashes away. But Genex is going to lock him in place for the moment. Dreams on his way as well as here comes Forgiven. And the fight really begins in the mid lane as the equalizer comes out. Limit goes gold and one down already as Abadage falls. Forgiven's going to get to the lantern, but here comes the TP. Dredge line doesn't quite connect. Odo's joining the fight from the top side. That's another one for Shalka. Giving up this ocean with the intent of playing around the next few dragons when they hit not be the greatest, greatest engage. And while a Rumble Ultimate is great, uh, as I speak about engage... Oh, Janax just TP'd in behind us. I would argue really has nowhere to go. The Vittor is there, but he's already in the realm of death. Janax will be able to chase him down. I would argue just oversteps. Yeah, tier two boot. Shalka wants to go for the second Herald. Oh, great play from Trick as he lands the kickback. Underneath the turret now, there's the route, the chase. Oh, that was beautiful. That was the When you look at SK, they're kind of a team that that just kind of watches the fists from a distance. Yeah. So in theory, you have this team with and someone making sure that Shelly gets her charge in, the turret falls, and now we'll see. Down. Lorox, of course, no flash. So while he could commit to this, there may no be escape route for him. Here comes Sakura with the ult. Sakura looking for the call of the forge. God, but a great hook from Dreams puts him out of his equalizer. Not too well placed as SK push towards the dragon. Trick gets it. Third of the game for them. And now Lorox is in the middle of SK. He's going to be able to back away. Sakura forced off towards the top side. Janax in the realm of death. Hook doesn't quite connect, but SK will sacrifice him. Maybe they'll hope that Shalka will try and set up plays like this. Sakura going in. Dawning Shadow will heal him up just a tad. You can see the damage coming out, and Lorox going to jump in, but he's underneath the turret. Lorox is dead. That's one. Sakura gets the outplay. He's going to burn for it. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, the bullet time came out. It's forgiven. Picks up a kill on Sakura. I think the top tower also went down in that exchange, which of course Shalka is going to immediately equalize. Still sitting on the gold lead for the now. river. Here we go. Here Sakura we go. still Dream. has the ult though. Hook. Bellows Breath comes out. Odo is going to try. Oh, that equalizer. It's going to separate them. Crown shot and limit off towards the top side. Donny Shadow comes out as the dragon resets. Lorox in the realm of death, but Odo is going to be kicked away. Trick trying to take it before Lorox can get back in. Limit off towards the top side is fighting. He's just acting as a bouncer, acting as a bodyguard. Lorox steals it away for Shalka. And now the fight continues. Lorox with a double knocker. The shutdown coming out. It's forgiven who's gone down. They're chasing on to Crown Shot, but Abadaga is going to go down as well. Odo getting chased, but the hook from Dreams will not save him today. It's an ace for SK. Shalka, you got them. And Lorox is just forced to dance around the fight because of the Mordekaiser ultimate. Match. It was Definitely. going to be pretty unbearable for Schalke. They're 3,000, 2,500 gold behind. Sakre. Oh, he was looking for a TP opportunity, I think. That's why They're he froze rock. in the lane. Schalke looking here. to collapse now. Equalizer comes out. Genex uses the proto belt to get away, but I'm sorry, Genex. Even with the realm of death, I don't know if you survived this one. Lands a good obliterate. About that? Not quite getting the death grass now. Sakre. Oh, they've turned straight on him, but the dawning shadow. Sakre's already got one. They're looking for more. SK were quick to react to the play from Schalke. And Schalke's dreams and their hopes just shatter before their very eyes. But given channels the bullet time, but he can't survive. Not a single member of SK has died in the last two fights. Nine from Schalke have. Well, turns out that you don't need to do anything if you just wait for your opponents <laughs> to make the play instead. They killed up SK. the fist for a long time, yeah, but yes. <laughs> SK were able to respond in kind and it went heavily in their favor. They now just group up bot. They have their eyes set on the bot lane inhibitor. And they have their eyes set on the game. Schalke crumbling under the pressure of SK. It's a lot easier to do something with the Baron buff when there's no one on the enemy team to stop you. The inhibitor tower in the bottom lane will be broken open. The inhibitor short to follow, you have to feel. There it goes. 6,000, almost 7,000 gold lead for SK. A disappointment. I'll be honest, I'm holding out hope. We've had null fear, we've had null fump. I'm holding out hope for the null act sin at the end of this. The enemy team doesn't ever get anywhere near you. Here they come. Shalka on the warpath. Back to their base. They, they can't get anywhere near it. Oh. Sakura is a good bodyguard. 
Gen X is there as a bouncer yeah. as well. He has decided to go for Zerka, Grease. I know that's a very, very controversial topic Yeah, right there's now. a big, there's that's, a big con You only get I five see, extra attacks. I see a lot of people saying like, no, it's fine. Other people being like, no, it's useless. You know, Ionian boots the lucidity. It's the most common yeah. that I usually see on a center, but oh, fight. Will it happen? Both lands on side. Will it will happen? The question is whether Shalka can actually put up any sort of fight at all. Bullet time comes out, really doesn't do too much. Sagwe's going to land the knockup. Trick trying to get all the way on the back line. That was beautiful from Trick. Jumps all the way into the base, but Forgiven is still alive. Abadage goes golden off towards the top side. Forgiven has to run back to the base. Abadage's gone. And this is SK pushing in. The fight happened, Vedius. There were some cool plays in the midst of it, but. It was as done as we thought it was. SK now on the Nexus Towers, but given no summoners, no way of getting into the fight. Dreams tries to go forward, but he is smacked down with a mace. And uh, Janax looking for a couple more kills on the Fountain, if he can find them. Not going to be able to get there. That will be the game. SK, they're, they're pulling a bit of a G2 here, guys. Come on. You're, you're not as good as G2. Just finish the game, SK. <laughs> You're not on their level. Wow. There we are. SK get their second wing of swing split. Mahal and